Hello. Welcome to the Connect 007 experience. Here we come to the podcast where human connection is everything. If you're trying to connect better with those around you, you're in the right spot. So please sit back, relax, open your mind, and enjoy the experience. Good morning, everybody. My name is Stadia Sims, and I am the host of this amazing podcast. And I would like to say just good morning to you all, and I hope you're having a good Friday so far. I know we're all listening to this episode in different time zones. Some of us are pretty much done with our day. Some of us are right in the middle, and some of us have not woken up yet. So with that being said, I hope this is the beginning of a good day and leading into a good weekend for everybody. So let us get into this episode, shall we? The title, actually, this is the 92nd episode, so we're reaching 100 soon. And I feel as though I'm going to do a big change in 100. Not sure yet, but we're going to see. So this is our 92nd episode titled Create and Effect, right? It makes me think of cause and effect, right? You can kind of put the same thing. But yes, create an effect. We're going to get into this a little bit deeper. This one actually might be a little short episode because this is something that is more of like another question, more of a, an episode that's like a question for you all, right? So before we get into it, the fun fact, which is very interesting to me. I did not know this. It actually snowed in the Sahara Desert for 30 minutes on the on February 18th. 1979 and so far this is the only known time in history that it snowed in the sahara and unsurprisingly the snow melted away very quickly i really am very curious what was going on in the world that it was just decided you know what we gonna snow over here why not like who was out there doing a snow dance or something out there I feel like you know how you have the rain dances with the native americans and i felt like someone's like you know let's one up them we're going to make it snow over here where it should not have no business snow. We're going to make it snow. We fit it one up somebody. I would like to say if I was out there, I wouldn't be. But if I was and I seen snow, I legit think I'm either hallucinating or I'm like, yeah, yeah, the, the heat's definitely getting to me now. I'm really thinking that I'm seeing snow. I don't know. I think I would have lost my mind or started hallucinating. Something like that. That would have been the first thought. But can you just imagine it's 1979 and you're there? And you're going outside and it's snowing like what? I'm pretty sure I would have to go back inside and come back out just to make sure my eyes aren't playing on playing tricks on me. So let us get into this episode, shall we? Now, all of us are creators, every single one of us. And when we think of creators, it doesn't necessarily have to mean like art, right? Like everything you do from your thoughts to your actions, you are creating something. And what we create, it has an effect on others. Now, there are so many different avenues that I can go with this, but I'm just going to go with what's been, I guess, pretty hot in my world of things lately. And it, it's it's very interesting, but it, it it's funny to me. And some of you guys may be like, no, but I'm just going to bring it out anyway. So let's talk about anime, right? Some of you who are a little bit older, well, actually, nah, because some of y'all watch it too. Some people who don't watch it, they may think, oh, this boy's talking about cartoons. Like, no, there's a difference. There's a difference between cartoons and anime, but we're not going to go into that. But let us talk about just the anime part. So there are people who actually create them and the effects of that that I have personally witnessed are by far amazing. I I really, to this day, it it, it surprises me each day. So we're going to talk about, so I'm going to go through some bullet points. The first one is inspiration. If you talk to, if you ladies, if you're, you have your, and some of y'all too. So this is, I really can't say this is just a one, you know, a male or female, a younger gender. Like everybody listens to, or watch some type of anime just about like every everybody in a particular age group um 
gender, all of that watches it. And just that alone surprises me. But we're going to get into the inspiration part where you can watch anime. There's literally anime for so many different things, right? Like there's anime for obviously fighting. Then you have anime for sports. And I would say the biggest one that shocked me is that there's anime for cooking. I was just like, what? And apparently this anime is called Food Wars. And it is so extra. And I got very addicted to it the first episode. And I have been watching it since, right? But I say this because some people would think anime and they would think it's a waste of your time. But it actually can be very inspirational. So just like I'm going to go with just staying focused on this anime with called Food Wars. It's about all of these chefs or whatever. They're at this like prestigious school and they're learning how to be, you know, the best chef and they're competing against other people and they can just be expelled like it ain't nobody's business. But what's inspirational is that I personally um, cook for myself from time to time and I like to think of different ideas and new dishes. Now, though I eat differently than what they show on the anime, I still get ideas and it inspires me to create things. Not only that, but it educates me as well. Um, Like, you would never think that you would learn something just from an anime, right? But you actually do if you're in the anime world. And what's interesting, so just to give you guys something that I got from that is um, I personally don't eat meat. But what I learned so much about meat is, and this anime is like how, um, I believe it's onions, uh, pineapple, and honey is really good for breaking down um, the protein, and I did not know that at all. Like just they were really just going ham on a bunch of other stuff. And there are a lot of things that people eat in Japan that we don't really like eat over here. It's very overlooked or we don't know much about it, which that is actually going to be part of the health is wealth. But I'm going to leave that alone. And so it inspires me to like, you know what? I can try this dish with these vegetables or I can make this over here or learning that there's like a whole science when it comes to just cooking. And it's just like, which, you know, duh, but I I didn't go to school for cooking or to be a chef. But when you're watching an anime that's like epic on it, it's just like, wow, this is inspiring me to do not only cooking, but I can take what they're learning and how they're doing this in other parts of my life. Right. So it's crazy. Another thing is increased imagination. I don't know about you all, but for those of you who lists, who watch anime or know someone who who does, like your imagination starts to increase. Like you start to think of what uh, what could I do? Like, or if you draw or if you're working or you're doing something, you'll find that anime actually increases imagination. Now, you may be saying, OK, Thad, I'm hearing you so far talking about anime and whatever, inspiration, which is cute, and increased imaginations, which is nice. But what does this have to do with people? This I'm not hearing anything with so far with people. All you said was that it's people, someone created this. What does this have to do with me? What does this have to do with you? What does this have to do with my neighbor, uh, Cindy, down the street? So here's the funny thing when it comes to anime, right? And the, the people who create this, literally... One of the effects of it is that it connects groups of people who would normally never connect. And I have been blown away by this. There are so many, I would say, male or female friends who I have gotten to know much better or are that was the door opener for our relationship because of anime like these people like they're either how can i put it i've met some people who are really good friends now where they just don't like for example they were maybe i don't know they were the boyfriends of a, of a close friend of mine's right and under normal circumstances we would never either have met or cross each other's path or different things like that and because of we watched certain animes it changed everything we started talking more right you may think, okay, yeah, that's guys. No, apparently there are a lot of women who watch anime too. Like I have found some very like badass business owners who are women 
who if you 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 look at them, you just think they're all about you know their business, right? Which they normally are. But when you bring up an anime, they're like, oh, what anime are you watching? And it's just like, well, I'm seeing a whole different side of you, right? Not only that, but you'll be very surprised at the people who you think maybe are either really stuck up or uppity or they just don't have time for that or they're like lawyers or all types of things right you would never guess you would be very surprised that they probably watch an anime of sorts and it will bring out a completely different side of them and because of just the idea of one person right who decided let me just create this particular anime and it has grown and is you know they did it a manga they whatever it's grown and now lots of people watch it it literally brings people together. Like, I'm sure some of you guys have even heard of Dragon Ball Z. Like, the I would say maybe last year or so, when Super came out and things happened, it was all over the internet. I mean, there were watch parties. People were gathering together to speak on it. People were meeting up on certain days to talk. It was ridiculous. So it's just very funny that someone who t- who had an idea in their mind to draw whatever draw these characters, have a storyline. I'm keeping it super basic, so I'm not trying to offend people, but this some person had an idea and decided, you know what, let me share this with the world. And because of this idea and they created it and you know they went through the necessary channels to put it on TV or in the internet and whatnot, it has affected so many people in multiple ways. I've only just said three. It just affects most people in multiple ways, like to their like it affects people with their fashion. It'll literally affect people with how they think and see the world. There are lessons that people get. Like I said already, inspiration, increased imagination. And not only that, but there are whole uh, conferences or what do they call them? Um, uh, what is it called? Something con. Um I can't. That's so bad. I can't think of it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But there's whole conventions where people meet up because someone or a group of people have created an anime that has changed so many people's lives. Right. So I want you to just like take that for a minute. Right. So that was something that was super like, OK, anime. All right. I see it a little bit different now. But if you're like, OK, I don't really watch anime that that was cute, though. I, I do appreciate you sharing that. Thank you. Um, So, you know. Cool, cool beans. So let's. I'm, I'm going to talk with you about something that everybody's familiar with: business, right? Now, business owners, obviously, they created they created a business, and the effects. There are multiple effects when it comes to a business. Either more jobs for other people um, to benefit from, especially you know in uh, certain towns, cities, and things like that. You bring more life. Uh, more money flowing through. There is a solution to a problem um, that's happening, right? That's what most business owners do. They create something, their business to solve a problem. Another effect, like I said, money going back into the economy. And something very simple that, you know, could be overlooked is that there is new associates that you meet and you connect with. Like there are a lot of people who've become very great friends and best friends. Some of some people who are just become just like family to you all who you've met at, you know, your job, which i.e. is an idea that someone decided to create. Right. And I say this all really because it just brings a question that I have for everybody is what is it that you can create that will cause an effect on either the world around you or, you know, people you may or may not meet? Or on yourself. So I say all of that. That was just the anime example. You know, something, eh, you know, a lot of people would be excited about. Some people wouldn't. But a business, right? And these things, we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about the business part since, you know, maybe a lot of y'all don't watch anime. But if y'all don't, I suggest you do. But the business thing, that's something that's so common. But someone had the idea to do it. And I say this to you all is that you may not necessarily have to create an anime. You may not necessarily have to be a business owner, but there is something that you can create that will have an effect on other people. Like if you just look at artists, when nowadays I'm seeing lots of artists, they'll um, record themselves as they're doing their work. 
And it's so cool when you start off and you see, OK, they just threw a, a blob of paint on something and then they threw another one and they just bring it all together. And it's just like, whoa. And it just makes I don't know about you all, but it gives me like it has an effect on me to where it's just like I never thought of doing it that way. It changes my perspective. Right. Even with music, music has an effect. So everything around you has an effect. Someone has created it. And you can do that same thing, right? So it doesn't have to be all these other things that you see, but there's something that, you know, you have and you can affect everyone else, right? Now, like I said, everything we create, it does have an effect on other people. Now, a question that I have for you all is what type of effect do you wish to create? I know for me personally, the creation of this podcast, that was an idea for me. Um, and with that, the effect that I desired from this was to educate and share ways for people to connect with others, not only with just other people, but themselves, and maybe share some skills that I have learned And it could be beneficial to other people. So there's different effects that have been happening because of the podcast. To this day, I still get messages or text messages or people uh, tell me, hey, I checked out your episode and this helped me with this person. Or someone says, hey, I was thinking about this and then I heard your episode and I shared it with this friend. Right. So it's just like this was just an idea that I had and I'm seeing the effects. And this is just a podcast. You know what I mean? But you all have something that you can create and it will affect a lot of people. And so the question is, what type of effect would you like on other people? And granted, there are some things you some effects you can't control and that's okay. But there is an overall thing that you're your aim that you can do for it. Right. So that was it on that podcast. That was that was short. That was sweet. And it was just something to bring up to you all. Because it has been a bit of a of a of an awareness that I have come across just this past like few weeks with talking with different types of people and the things that a lot of people I know are working on. Now, as I mentioned before, with um like the inspiration from the anime and and all types of different things, and I said it's it's related to health as well. I'm gonna bring back. Uh, burdock. I've talked about it in a previous episode when it came to health as well. And um, by the way, if you're new to this podcast, the health is wealth segment is pretty much a bonus for the podcast. This is where not only where you learn how to connect with different types of people and yourself, but you also get a bit of a bonus of learning something that could literally benefit your health. And the next time you come back, to listen to this to a, a new episode, your health is better because you may have implemented something um, that was shared in the health as well. So that's like the the benefit for that and why I did it. So I but yes, I've talked about this in a previous episode and I talked about um, burdock as a tea that you can drink. And I live in the States. So you, America, I live in the States. So that is mostly I, and I'm not speaking, I'm not speaking for the entire country, let me say that. But for the spheres of influences that I have around and what is common and not common, um, I learned recently that it can be eaten. I did not know that, right? And I've, like I said, I've only known its use for tea, but it's not common, you know, to eat burdock root in the States. Like, I. At my regular stores that's around here, like a Walmart, a Target, a Publix, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, um, you don't really just get, oh, let me just get some burdock root. You may get a tea, but that's it. And I've learned you can go to Asian stores to to get it. Now, what's funny is I mentioned, like you heard me mention that anime thing. This anime was talking about cooking and things like that. And it's very common in Japan that they actually eat uh, the burdock root. And even in the anime, they said it is very uncommon in the States, like it's very overlooked and it's starting to grow over here. 
but it's very overlooked. And because I was seeing how they were saying, oh, yeah, they got burdock root. They cut it up and they fried it a little bit and the taste. And I'm like, I never I never knew this. And it was just like, wow, this is an anime. They're telling me about myself. OK, but what is burdock root? Right. Because you're hearing all this like, Dup, OK, but that what is it? So so burdock or I guess the scientific name Artium uh, Lapa is a big leaved uh, benio plant with purple thistle like flowers. And it's native to Asia and uh, Northern Europe. Burdock root is an underground tuber that you can use as food or medicinal herb. In Japan, people use burdock as a food source in many dishes and call the root gobo. The root is crispy with a sweet, earthy flavor and resembles celery. You can use burdock root to improve your health and well-being since it is rich in essential nutrients, minerals, and antioxidants. So a few benefits of burdock is that it boosts skin health. It promotes a healthy body weight. It may prevent cell proliferation. It aids in digestion. It's a natural diuretic for kidneys. It promotes liver health and healthier hair. And it acts as a natural aphrodisiac. And I was just very blown away because it's like, wow, I'm really learning all of these things related to this cooking stuff. And there's so many things here in the States that we've heard of and we've only known to have it a certain way. But yeah, just just didn't know you can eat that. So I wanted to bring that to people's attention because if you are already a person who know of burdock tea, you could actually eat it as well. I would definitely, you know, look in and see how to do that. That's something I plan to do. I would like to give it a try because I think someone even fried it or something like that. I know that's so American frying things, but however they cooked it, I would like to see how to incorporate that in my diet and add some different things that are not just the American way, right? And so that was just very interesting. And I figured, you know what? People need to know this. This is something to share. And not only that, but there's amazing benefits. That was just a few benefits that I mentioned to you all. So if you are really into your health and working on improving certain things, I would definitely look into a burdock root as well. I may get back into the food because I, I ventured off into other things, which are very beneficial, but... There are certain foods now that are super, super good for you. And now that it's like the fall season, I may look into some more um, fall um, vegetables and, and, and fruits. If Right? Fruits and vegetables in fall that grow in fall? As you know, I'm not a farmer, so I don't know which all grows. All I know is like, um, like squashes. <laughs> but yes, so guys, that is it for this episode. And I thank you for taking the time to listen. I hope you learned. Sorry, I hope you desired. I'm saying it's so weird. I desire that you learned something new. And I desire that maybe you might get into an anime of your own and learn a few things. It's very entertaining and educational. And I feel like it will definitely benefit you as well. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm telling you, ask some of the people who who you're around. You'll be very surprised. And I'm telling you, it, it opens doors. Anime will open doors. You will see different types of part. You will see different parts of people come out. It 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 baff, it, it shocks me. And just to, just again, just to give you an example of how educational and informative it really is, I got off the phone with a um, a friend of mine. She's a business owner. And I was telling her about this anime called Food Wars. And the thing is, I was like, hey, have you listened? Have you watched this anime before? Because they're talking about a lot of things when it comes to food. And it's so like a, like all types of different things. Like they break it down to a science, aromas, what matches, what doesn't matches, what brings out flavors, uh, spices, all types of things. And I was telling her, I was like, I think you should watch this. Uh, and before I could finish, she was like, yeah, she was like, you know, I love me some anime, right? If you were to meet her, you would never thought she was into anime, right? But she was like, you know, I love anything that's that's anime and it helps with my purpose. I'm down. So she was like, send me the link for it. And she, obviously she is um, a chef and she actually creates all types of alkaline vegan um, dishes. And she works on making things very healthy for other people. 
and, you know, typical dishes that people eat like tacos and burgers and um, like chicken, chicken alternatives, but she makes it vegan style and she loves anything that she can um, benefit from. And she's always in the kitchen. Like she's, she says if she could sleep in the kitchen, she would. Literally, she's always in the kitchen. So just sharing this with her, it not only is entertaining, but it's educational and it's in alignment with what her God-given gift is and her business. So I'm telling you guys, anime can go far. Now, I'm, in, I'm, I'm with that. I'm not trying to convert nobody. But with that being said, that is it. <laughs> I could say something about business, but you already know that. So with that being said, that is it for this podcast episode. I thank you so, so much for tuning in. And I look forward to speaking with you all Tuesday. All right, you all. Later, later. Thank you for listening to today's episode. Please leave a five-star rating and share with a friend near you. Remember, the world's a better place because you exist. Know your worth and know thyself.